Have you ever pondered how our psyche works, who we are, and why we behave the way we do? One man who devoted his life to answering these questions is Carl Gustav Jung. Born in the year 1875 in the serene landscapes of Switzerland, Jung's story is as fascinating as the theories he proposed. His birthplace was a land known for its picturesque beauty and tranquil ambiance, a setting that would fuel a young Carl's curiosity about the world around him. From a young age, Jung exhibited a deep interest in spirituality and mythology, subjects that would later form the bedrock of his revolutionary ideas. His thoughts often strayed beyond the physical world, exploring the realms of the mind and the human spirit. His family environment also played a key role in shaping his interests. His father was a pastor, which further deepened his understanding of spirituality, while his mother's interest in the supernatural and occult phenomena sparked his fascination with the unexplained mysteries of the human psyche. As Jung grew older, his curiosity evolved into a quest for knowledge. He decided to delve into the human mind's complexities and intricacies, choosing to study medicine and psychiatry. His decision wasn't merely a choice of profession, it was a commitment to unravel the secrets of human behavior and the inner workings of the mind. His early fascination with spirituality and mythology, coupled with his studies in medicine and psychiatry, set the stage for his future work. These influences provided a unique perspective that allowed him to approach psychiatry from a new angle, one that considered not just the physiological aspects, but also the spiritual and mystical elements of the human psyche. The seeds of Jung's groundbreaking theories were sown during these formative years. His unique perspective on the human mind and his relentless pursuit of knowledge would lead him to become one of the most influential figures in the field of psychology. But this was just the beginning of his journey, a journey that would forever change our understanding of ourselves and the world around us. Jung's studies led him to the heart of human behavior and psyche. But what exactly was he studying, and how did he go about it? Diving deep into the realm of the mind, Jung began his journey at the Bergoltsli Psychiatric Hospital in Zurich, under the direction of Eugen Bleuler. Here, he found himself enthralled by the complexities of human behavior, the mysteries of the mind, and the profound impact of psychological disorders. This experience was instrumental in shaping his understanding of the human psyche. His path then crossed with Sigmund Freud, the father of psychoanalysis. Their meeting marked the beginning of an intellectual collaboration that would shape the course of psychology. Sharing a mutual interest in the unconscious mind, the two giants delved into the study of dreams, symbols, and archetypes. Yet, their perspectives differed. Freud viewed the unconscious as a storehouse of repressed desires and traumatic memories, while Jung saw it as a source of creativity and spiritual growth. The divergence in their views became evident over time. Freud's focus was primarily on the influence of past experiences, particularly those of early childhood, on the individual's current behavior. Jung, however, sought to explore the future potentials of individuals. He believed that human behavior was not just a result of past experiences, but also a striving towards future goals and aspirations. This fundamental difference led to their eventual split. The split, however, did not deter Jung, Rather, it spurred him to develop his own school of thought, known as analytical psychology. He dissected the human psyche into distinct components, such as the ego, the personal unconscious, and the collective unconscious, each playing a pivotal role in shaping our behaviors, thoughts, and emotions. His work in analytical psychology set him apart from his contemporaries. Jung dared to venture into uncharted territories of the human mind, exploring concepts such as archetypes, individuation, and synchronicity. His approach was holistic, emphasizing the need to understand the individual as a whole, rather than just focusing on isolated parts of their behavior. Jung's divergence from Freud laid the foundation for his unique contributions to psychology. His legacy continues to influence the field, offering fresh perspectives on the complexities of the human mind and behavior. Now that we know about Jung's journey, Let's delve into his theories and ideas that revolutionized psychology. One of Jung's most essential concepts is the collective unconscious. He proposed that our unconscious minds are not solely personal but also collective, filled with universal symbols and archetypes shared by everyone across cultures and time. These archetypes, as he called them, are innate universal prototypes for ideas that we all understand without being taught. They encompass concepts like the mother, the hero, the wise old man, and many more. Next, let's talk about the persona. In Jung's view, 
The persona is the mask we wear in public, the facade we present to the world to fit into societal norms. It's a necessary tool for social interaction, but problems arise when we identify too closely with it, losing sight of our true selves. Then there's the shadow. This is the unconscious aspect of our personality that our conscious ego doesn't identify with. It's the repository for our undesirable traits, those we'd rather not admit to having. Yet, Jung believed that acknowledging and integrating our shadow is a crucial part of self-growth. This brings us to individuation. For Jung, individuation is the process of becoming an individual, or in other words, becoming the person that you truly are. It's a lifelong journey of self-discovery and self-realization. To achieve individuation, one must integrate all aspects of their personality, including the persona, the shadow, and the collective unconscious, into their conscious self. These groundbreaking theories have had a profound influence on our understanding of the human psyche. As we peel back the layers of Jung's ideas, we see a vision of human psychology that is deeply interconnected, complex, and profoundly humane. Each of us, according to Jung, carries a rich tapestry of archetypes, experiences, and potential within our minds. It is up to us to unravel this tapestry, engage with it, and ultimately, to become who we truly are. These theories, though controversial, shed a new light on our understanding of the human mind. Jung's theories didn't just end in his books. They left a lasting legacy and continue to influence various fields. Jung's impact on psychology is undeniable. He is often considered a pioneer of depth psychology, which focuses on unconscious processes. His work led to the development of analytical psychology, a field that delves into the inner workings of the human mind. His concepts of the collective unconscious and archetypes have become fundamental aspects of psychological study, influencing generations of psychologists. Simultaneously, Jung's influence extends beyond the realm of psychology, reaching into the arts. His exploration of the human psyche and unconsciousness has been a rich source of inspiration for artists, writers, and filmmakers. His ideas have found their way into novels, paintings, and films, helping creators to delve deeper into the human experience. Literature, too, has felt the touch of Jung's theories. Notable authors like Hermann Hesse and John Updike have incorporated Jungian ideas into their works, using his concepts to add depth and dimension to their characters and plots. His theories have become a powerful tool for literary analysis, providing a lens through which to examine the underlying themes and symbols in a text. In the realm of spirituality, Jung's exploration of the psyche has had profound implications. His work has been instrumental in bridging the gap between psychology and religion, offering a framework for understanding spiritual experiences through the lens of psychology. His ideas have been embraced by spiritual seekers and incorporated into practices aimed at achieving self-realization and personal growth. Jung's prolific writings, which include over 20 books and countless articles, continue to be studied, analyzed, and interpreted. His theories have formed the backbone of countless studies, providing a rich source of insight into the human mind and its complexities. Jung's work transcends time, influencing generations of thinkers, artists, and seekers. His legacy continues to shape our understanding of the human experience, offering a lens through which to explore the depths of human consciousness. Carl Gustav Jung, a man whose ideas continue to shape our understanding of the psyche. This extraordinary thinker, born into the dawn of psychology, dedicated his life to exploring the depths of the human mind. His early studies set the foundation for a career filled with groundbreaking theories and revolutionary ideas. Jung's work delved into the complex world of dreams, archetypes, and the collective unconscious, providing us with new perspectives on our own identities. His theories, while often controversial, challenged the status quo and pushed the boundaries of psychological thought. His influence extends beyond the realm of psychology, permeating various fields such as literature, art, and philosophy. His legacy continues to inspire, enlighten, and provoke thought, encouraging us to delve deeper into our own psyche and understand our true selves better. Jung once said, the privilege of a lifetime is to become who you truly are. Through his work, he encouraged us all to embark on this journey, 